This video shows how to use Photoshop files inside of Blend when creating Windows Phone 7 applications. Here I have a beginning of a Windows Phone 7 application in Blend and I want to bring this Photoshop file to start creating some interaction. I can save my PSD file and go back to Blend. In to import, I go to File, Import Adobe Photoshop file. And this is the PSD. I can open. The import dialog from Blend allows you to choose which layer you want to import. So I can just hide and review the ones that I want. And we also have the options for text layers to choose between edit both content or just render as bitmap. Now clicking OK, Blend brings all the assets from the PSD file. A quick look in the object and timeline panel. We can see that all the layers are imported separately so we can animate or create interaction in each layer. The text that we imported also we can double click and see that they are real text so we can change or data bind to real data. Uh, just remember if you're used to the layout management in Silverlight, uh, the Photoshop file all, always import the containers as canvas. So if you want the properties, you see that the type is canvas. That means that you have to be careful when you change the orientation on your project. In this example, if I change the orientation to portrait, you can see that the canvas container doesn't change as appropriate. But overall, this is a great uh, workflow between development and design teams that are creating experiences for the Windows Phone 7.